Here's a few of my vintage lighters that I've collected over the years. I usually pick these up in auctions off eBay. You can just search vintage lighter lots. Every once in a while you'll get a pretty good one in the bunch, so um, it takes a while, but these are the few that I've collected over the years. This is the Imco Triplex. It's an Austrian made lighter. You can see here on the back. Imco Triplex. Vienna, Austria. Six Super 6700. That's just like the model name. Fairly simple lighter, the way it works. Um, another cool thing, the way you load the flint. You have this little chamber right here. You can see how it's sort of opening up right here. And then you close it, and it's like loading a bullet into a gun. And then that's loaded, and then you close it. And... I don't know. <laughs> and the flint fell out or something. But basically what you would do also, you'd have have it like that when it's lit and then you could take it out. I guess the, the flint just died. This one will probably work. Or it should. Yeah, there you go. So you have that and then you would pull this out and you have a little candle that you can use free up your hands so if you need to do a t difficult task and you need a flame then you can do that so it gives you a lot of options that's one of the cool things I like about these lighters also another similar one to this is the Imco Streamline this was I think a later version of the Imco Triple X um, same design on the back here just a little more polished and it's just different shape you can see the other one's a lot bulkier. And it's got these three star these uh five stars here that kind of give it that look. And then this one's the same. This is an older version. Um sort of like a trench lighter. I'm sort of it's sort of deceiving how old it looks. I'm not sure. There's really no information. And every time I try and read this. Like, I start reading it, and then I'm like, wait, it's upside down. So I flip it upside down, and I'm like, wait, I was right. So I don't know if it's in a different language, or if it's just so tarnished and, and used that you can't even read what's going on on it. But that's basically how that would work. You just go like this and spark. But the spark isn't working very well. Next is... Similar design, almost the exact same design. Same exact barrel here, different on the, on the back. This is a Calibri Firebird, which I believe was eventually bought by Calibri. So I'm not sure if this was before they merged or if this was after, I'm not sure. But it works the exact same way, or it's supposed to. Next, we have the Imco Solo Deluxe. Also, very retro looking lighter. Solo Deluxe, made in Imco. Made my Imco in New York, made in the USA. Basically, squeeze. And I had it. Pretty cool. Works the same way with the little little candle type setup, which I think is cool. I wonder if I could add that to like a Bic lighter. That'd be interesting. And last is this Regions Regans. Not sure how you pronounce it. it says right here. Regans regions made in the USA and some patent shit. Basically, you just squeeze this one, but they're not reliable. They just never. 
I guess were very reliable. It's probably why the butane pretty much killed these versions. People still use the Zippos, but yeah, it's just too much of an intricate effect that you have to like really squeeze it, hold it, you know. But also interesting to see how everything sort of progressed. I wish I could could set these up chronologically, but there's really not very much information on these, and I haven't even looked to tell you the truth. I just like the fact that they look different, they're obviously set apart in time, and I just think they're interesting. So, Thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. If you have any information you want to share, I'd appreciate it. Just leave me a message or a comment. Have a good one.